Have a look at his. Uh, have a look at his face. Face for radio. I'm hoping it's dark. I'm just hoping this light come. Oh, look at that. The sensor light is working. Oh, some days, Michael, some days you are, you are nearly average. Uh, just have a look at it from this angle. It's lighting up the, the pigs. Scare off any fox. Look at that. Oh, I'm so chuffed with it. Will it disappear now as I go away? Let's have a quick look. Oh, it's still going. Still going. Okay, perhaps it stays on all night now. But it's there. It's there. Sun is shining. This is the. Uh, it's May the second, the day after my son's party and a few other parties this week including my wedding anniversary, which I did remember, which was pretty good, pretty good for me. Uh, we're going to go out on the boat for the first time, my wife and I, Patricia, and we'll see what uh, what new developments. I've been out on it once before this year. I was Myself and Jake brought it back down. Uh, a lot of new babies on the river, so let's see what we can see today. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the journey. We're just coming up to Jackson's Bridge. We've been through here once this year already when we brought the boat back. You'll see the reflection in the water, I hope it casts that reflection of an eye, which is quite, quite spooky if you get that reflection right. And I think that is pretty good at the moment. I hope you can see it on the camera. I'm trying to, trying to pilot the boat and do this. Now I think we're just going to come up to the first couple of babies up here. Let's see how many we've got here. days old. I hope they're not the ones that there were eight babies because that would be a real shame. Looks like we got another few babies. Oh these are that's that's a very new baby. Just the one. Poor little thing. Another, oh no, this is more like it. These are Egyptian geese. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven babies there. Um, again, they're looking about 10 days old, if not a bit more. They look, uh, they're, you can see that the yellow is now turning brown. Just coming to uh, to the Thames now. It's looking pretty. Oh no, the river seems to be flowing quite fast in the centre there. Just coming up to the one, um, the one main attraction for Wargrave, which is the pub, the Georgian Dragon Pub. Wargrave's got a population of just under 2,000. It's got three pubs, but this is the most popular during the summer because of the, uh, well, the, the sunshine and its open air, and it's, especially at the moment because it's the only pub in Wargrave that has open air. You can see the car park starting to fill up. It's about a couple of minutes past 12 and people are, I can see people getting their first drinks already. Now, I 
don't know whether you can see it. Oh, it's just just tucked away, but that was the kingfisher. <laughs> this is the branches where I'm just running into because I was looking at the kingfisher. Choose the language, but I was rather excited then. That's the first time we've seen the kingfisher this year. But that's uh, that's the end of our little trip today. We're just coming home now. Uh, there's a couple of budget, but no, a couple of Canadian geese in front of us. But I'll be knocking the engine off now as we slow down. But we've seen the kingfisher, which for me, being a shadow boy, is pretty exciting for this time of the year. Uh, let's hope we catch it again as we go out because they'll have two or three babies and they're a great great sight to see as they fly down the river together in a, in a little formation. Now this little gem of a farm is, is not an isolated farm at all, it's within walking distance of Twyford, Wargrave, uh, it's just off the A4 but it's, it's just this little bit of it, well a little bit of it, it's quite a large area of land he grows strawberries, he raises the chickens, the pigs are not for food, they have been um, friends of the family, should we say. So the geese produce the eggs, the nanny goats are there for uh, eye candy, and, um, and I'm here to be a pain in the butt, filming and helping out. I do, I do enjoy feed, feeding the reindeer, got, he's got 18 reindeer, uh, Volcano is uh, a pal shall we say uh, and I do I, I like I like his uh, personality I think he actually likes me a little bit but you'll see those a bit a uh, bit later on when they're um, when they with their coat their winter coat is gone and everything's looking a little bit a uh, little bit more pleasant uh, he should be getting these alpacas uh, as I say in four weeks time and there should be quite uh, quite a big interest locally on that so I'll just make a move now, I've got to get out of the way because he's bringing up the uh, today's strawberries and uh, I'll let you know how things uh, progress. What are you doing there? Come and have a look, come and have a chat. You're going to be, uh, you're going to become famous, Shakespeare. Yep, that's his name. Good friend, this one. I've known him since he was he was pretty young. He's got a brother up there, but he only comes for food. This one will come for a chat. Have a look at his uh, have a look at his face. Face for radio. Oh no, his brother's decided to show. He does think there's some food. As you can see, what two great characters. Look at his teeth. Oh, look at that in there. Good shot, mate. Good shot. So you'll be seeing a lot more of these chaps over the next uh, month or so, or maybe two months. This, this for, for me is where I, I spend an awful lot of the summer. It's a chicken farm. They've got 5,000 chickens. I bought my chickens from here. Uh, I come down, I feed the, and help feed the reindeer and get them ready for Christmas. We do a lot of shows etc they uh, they have five andy has five thousand chickens here they produce four thousand eggs a day oh we got one billy go out goat out let's see if i can grab his attention yep there she comes oh it's a he this one there's four of them three of them are white Brandy's just hit me with some great news. They're getting uh, alpacas. Oh, the chickens should be up here. Yep, they're out. When they come out first thing in the morning, it, it's it's quite incredible to see because they um, you get five thousand chickens coming out at you. You uh, you certainly move quite uh, quite quick. The production line is very manual my grandkids have been in there picking eggs off and helping out we can just start to see the, uh, the field there pan around a bit you'll see the various chickens there's three fields of chickens we don't get many casualties from the fox which is good but we do bring them in around about six o'clock 
the fox is the same fox that comes to visit my chickens every night, so he's not having a good time at the moment. Hugs up! <laughs> Whoa, big boy! That's so exciting! Come here again! Huxley! Come on, Hugs! Come on, Hugs! Wow! <laughs> Look at that, his tongue out. Oh, what a picture of beauty. Yes, you're looking. <laughs> you playing to the camera, you stupid dog. Ooh. 